Hello. Uh, so, my wife got one of these Ray Dunn plant waterers, um, and the water stopped working. You would pump it, and the water wouldn't come out. So, um, sitting here on my morning coffee, and I decided to take it apart and take a look at it. Um, I'm not sure what I found. I think um, the end result is I actually ended up making it spray a little bit farther, um, which is pretty cool. Um, make it a little bit easier to water plants maybe up, up high or, um, you know, that aren't within arm's length. So, um, I'll show you what I did. So, you can disassemble. A little bit of water coming out there. Got a bottom hose here. Um, this top piece, you can see there's a, like a little barbed um, like tab on there. If you pull that out, you can actually pull it up and out of there. Um, so I took that apart, and then also like the lower assembly of that. Um, there's actually you can spin it if it makes it easier to grab it, and then that just pulls right out. It's like a little straw. Um, you'll notice there's a you can hear a little bearing in there. Um, if you play around with it and roll it around, you can actually see it in that hole. There's a little bearing that rolls around. So the ultimate problem with ours was that that bearing was stuck down in this lower part and to some extent it's supposed to sit in there because what that does is it stops um, the water from coming back out the bottom the water will go up when you pump up into this area the water will go up into there but then the bearing falls down into there and prevents the water from coming back out you can see how when i was rolling that the water just kept kind of coming out because uh, the bearing was moving and letting it come out of there so for me, um, the bearing was stuck in there, so what I did was I just used, um, I had a safety pin out because I was using that for other parts. Um, I'll show you that in a second. I was cleaning the, the elements of it. Um, <clears throat> and I just kind of gave it a, a push, um, and it, it loosened that. Um, what, what I didn't tell you um, was originally we were using this as a hand soap dispenser <clears throat> in our bathroom. Um, so obviously a little bit thicker substance, so maybe that is what caused it to get stuck in there or, you know, dried soap just sticking it, sticking it on there. Um, so, um, it did work, uh, um, pretty well as a hand soap dispenser. Um, obviously the, the soap comes out, so you gotta make sure you got your hand in front of it, but, um, we decided to bring it out here on the porch and use it for, you know, our plants. So, um, again, it did stop working, so... So I can look into it. So, got that bearing loose. That piece um, was good to go. Um, so the next part was this upper, upper hose part. Um, and what I did, um, you can see on the, my fingernails are dirty, I apologize. I was doing a little gardening this morning. Um, little teeth on the end of that. Um, gives you a little bit of grip. I actually had to use some pliers to get it loosened. If you pull that off, um, you can clean inside there really good. Make sure your tip is clear. Um, I did notice inside the tip originally was this little white piece. And I don't know exactly what its purpose is because it's solid. Like there's not, I'll show you. So this is the end of the tip. Um, that white piece was sitting inside of there. But that clogs the um, the hose. So maybe we'll try it with that and without, but I noticed that um, without it, um, the sprayer actually does spray significantly farther. So um, I did take that out. So let's put that back together. Um, what else I did was I um, used that safety pin I was talking about and I just cleaned out um, you know, the gunk from the tip there. Um, I got in the, the, the different elements of the hoses and kind of like, you know, got in there and cleaned, made sure everything was loose. I um, made sure I was able to blow air through them, make sure they're clear. Um, so once all your pathways are clear, um, should, 
should be good to go. Basically how it works is you pump this, it sucks the water up into the chamber here and then up and out. Um, again, that ball bearing playing a big role in blocking the water once it does go in. So I'll put it back together here real quick. And you can see it's pretty simple. Um, just you know, that clips back in there. Oops, sorry, actually, before you do that, you want to get this angled piece. Um, again, just, you want to make sure that when you're, when you're putting this piece back in, you want to make sure that that bearing is below it. You want it to be down here, not up here, or else it won't work properly. So using gravity, we so that piece is back in place. This top piece goes down through and into that. Make sure that that's you know in there snug. Um, you don't want any leaks in the vacuum. And then obviously just bottom hose just back in there. You hear the bearing still free. Um, and let's just do what I was saying. We're gonna do a spray test here. So this original tip piece in there, I'm going to screw that back in. Can I put that white thing back in there? If you take yours apart, you'll see how it works. Get some. Okay, so like it like mists it. That's what it is. See how it kind of like mists. You can see it if I. Of course, I'm doing my porch all wet. Like that tip makes it mist, which is cool. I mean, if that's the effect, um, maybe maybe you save that and you can kind of go back and forth. It's cool, kind of kind of like having a hose sprayer gives you options um so now without that little plastic thing in the tip you're gonna see that it it's a more direct stream but man does it go far i mean that's 25 30 feet across my yard that that thing's spraying it's uh it's got some power um definitely gonna look forward to uh spraying the kids when uh <laughs> they're not expecting it so but yeah, so uh, that's how I repaired it. So if uh, you came across this video, this is like my first instructional video. I do all kinds of stuff and thinking about maybe starting to do some of these things just to share what I find in life, um, fixing and repairing odd things. Um, but yeah, I mean, like the video if this helped you. Um, I know I use YouTube all the time to help me with various things and uh, fixing and repairing. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys checking it out. See you later.